Yo, what's up guys, Yufti here, back into the game with another video. And today we're back here at the Diecast Center, or Shilov, formerly known as Shilov Cast. And if you guys are wondering why the audio quality is good, it's just because I actually have a microphone on. Oh, look at that, this is you guys. The road microphone I recently got. I know, pretty dope. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look around the shop. So starting with the main lines, I think it's been a while since I've actually <laughs> paid attention to them. I think most of you guys know that I focus mainly on the premium stuff, but I'm actually quite surprised to see it, okay? Like I've seen images of this, okay? From like the Hot Wheels Masters. Hey, shout out to y'all if you're watching this, you know. But we see like sneak peeks of upcoming cars and I'm actually quite impressed. Eh? Oh, but as much as I love these cars, uh, these are actually pretty dope. Really not bad for a dollar car. There's still main lines in there the day. And as long as Hot Wheels does not release them in a form of a premium car, what well, is actually pretty dope. I know this came in the ID series. I will not be buying them unfortunately. I have, oh, this is a Barbie car. Oh, that's interesting. Oh yeah, that's the car. I already watched the Barbie movie, Barbenheimer, and I'm kidding. So yeah, pretty cool. I, I, really a lot of great main lines, but the reason why I don't collect them is I want to go more from the premium stuff. I think I already made a video on that, so I'm not gonna repeat myself. But that's for the main line. And then looking at the other side, here are all the cars. Wow, really a lot of goodies there, guys. It's both good and bad. Good because it excites us collectors, but bad because that means that if you're really a collector, you're gonna drain your wallet. I'm just being realistic, you know. Just gonna drain your wallet to get all of these uh, cars. Oh, check this out. This one looks pretty dope. Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. If this had a metal base, this would have been perfect. So, hey, hey, hey holy crap, wait, I didn't. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, I totally forgot this existed. What the shit? It's the king. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Okay. Um, I'm gonna remember that this is here. Yeah, usually what I do for my video, guys, is after I'm done vlogging and stuff, I'm gonna go and get the cars that I want. And for those who don't know, right, all this while, all my vlogs, I record the videos at uh, in the shop. Then I go home to do an after recording. So I commentate on the video that I'm seeing on my phone. I know it's them whack. I know it's been working pretty well. But I thought right now I'll do a live vlogging uh, session. So let me flip the camera for a bit and show you guys. Uh, the shop. I think what's really cool is whenever y'all, you know, I visit the shop after a while, you get stuff that you never really seen before, which is pretty cool. MacGyver, any MacGyver fans here? Check this out. I think it's all it's all dope. So I think most of the things that you see right here are Matchbox cars and stuff. So main lines. I think there's some pretty good main lines here. I think it's, this one is a fan favorite Honda Civic Custom. I I like it. I like how boxy and unique it's look. It's not that your typical JDM cars. No, there's, there's not that there's anything wrong with JDM cars. Uh. It's just a lot of JDM fanatics out there are crazy over these cars. But I'm not gonna repeat myself again. I think I keep bragging about that. London, have you all been to London? Yeah, and oh this one. I think I've seen this before in another color. It's like a what? Ferrari. Oh my god, I just realized. Yeah, because Hot Wheels doesn't have the license for Ferrari. <laughs> I think this is their take on making a Ferrari car. So that's interesting. Yeah, so once again, for those who have not been here before, the Daika Center, there's like a lot of stuff here, bro. And oh yeah, they haven't seen this before. Check that out. See the sister company, Matchbox or Brother, you know. There's also, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's dope, oh my god. Matchbox actually managed to collaborate with FedEx, bro. Wow, how did they do that? That's so cool. They got the FedEx right there, Sia. Freaking cool stuff, bro. And oh, yo, whoa. Yo, this is a beautiful Porsche. I feel like if I will swap this, uh, it will be a nice premium car already. But let's admit that I'm not gonna buy. <laughs> I don't do real swaps. Partly because I'm lazy. But partly because like I want the actual release to be itself. Lah. Hey, but that's me, uh, hey? Okay? So again, uh, guys, Drifter, don't take don't don't take my word for it. This is my own thing. Lah. And we have all right here. So you can see that you're at Toys King, aka the Daika Center, aka <laughs> She Love Cars. Lots of uh, goodies right here. And like I said, it's always fun coming here because uh, every week, there's new stuff like this. Okay, I think at this point of time when the video comes out, it's not say new anymore. In fact, at this point of time, it's not exactly new. But, you know, you get the idea. Lah. So pretty cool. So we're at a different part of the shop. And it just so happens that at this point of time, there's no one in the shop. So I don't mind vlogging a bit. This is like totally my first time vlogging, you know. I don't really do this kind of thing. I think I did so a long time ago. 
with a friend of mine, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, while the shop is still uh, pretty empty, it's on a weekend now. Just now the shop was packed, but then suddenly it's empty. This, this is how it works. There are times where it just it's totally crowded. I think it's some kind, of, some sort of effect, right? Like you yourself, when you see that a shop has people in it, you're like, hey, what's going on? But maybe if the shop is empty, you're like, oh, the shop is empty. There must not be anything good inside it. I don't know, must be some psychological stuff. <laughs> So if we take a look right here, there's some goodies here and there. But I want to pay attention to this part here. This is my locker. I think it's been uh, quite a long time since I've uh, paid attention to it. But I see there's a lot of sold cars in it. And today I'm going to restock in it. Let me show you guys what I brought. So I came here not just to get the latest stuff, but to restock on some of the on my locker as well. Right, so here are the cars. I bought some goodies here lah. It was seven bucks each and i know that some of you guys have been buying from my locker so thank you for supporting me but i did buy bring some goodies here you know some of which i i know they're not worth seven bucks but you get the drill you know see whether i'll drop the price <laughs> but yeah for those who are here got some steals some usa exclusives for seven bucks some cars like yes yes this right here yeah it's a pretty dope car but once again it's a main line so i've stopped collecting those yeah, so I'll be selling those in my locker later on. So with that in mind, let's now head over to like the wall over here near the main entrance. Yeah, street <laughs> weapon. Controversial brand, right? I understand there's like no licensing on it and all. They do release some pretty dope cars. So, just, you know, pay attention to the Time Micro too. Yeah. For the price it's worth, it's really not bad for what they're selling for. Any Supreme fans out there and all those stuff? You know how it is. And of course, their wall of uh, drip. That's what I would call it. Sorry if the f my microphone is picking up the fan noise, guys. But this right here is the wall of drip. Check this out. Oh man. Some of these are actually pretty dope. I, I would want that. Check that out. So yeah. Porsche 959. Oh, they already got this. I'm waiting for mine. Oh man, Hot Wheels. Where's my one last year? Yeah, I managed to score at least... I think I scored one. Of the 959s so i'm looking forward to get that and of course joy and john also they do supply uh pop race and you guys know that i've been working closely with uh, pop race and they're really a fantastic band i do believe they have a huge uh, potential to uh do some stuff in the future really they're models man i gotta pay attention to them good competitor to uh, mini gt and whatnot but that's for another video we also have other, some other brands like tiny you know I think Tiny for my USA collectors or European collectors, you guys might not be familiar with this. But yeah, Tiny is more well known here in uh, Southeast Asia. I noticed there was some loose stuff right here. Yeah, check this out. They do sell some loose stuff here for loose Super Treasure Hunt. 33 bucks for a Golf Super Treasure Hunt. That's, uh, that's pretty reasonable. With a peeps. Peep, peep. They do, they do. Uh, where did they come from? Hey, yo, what's that? Hey? Oh, is this a multi-pack? Oh, it's a multi-pack exclusive uh, McLaren P1. And yeah, that's dope. And a few loose uh, super treasure hunts. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some of these. I don't have my hands. Oh, yo, 59 bucks. Not gonna lie, that's uh, pretty steep. Must be a pretty special one. I think I've been out of touch with the super treasure hunt line. So I'm not sure why that one is so uh, expensive. But yeah, lots of good stuff uh, right here. Yeah, you can see how big the shop is, yo. Look at that, there's some more inside. Try and John, forgive me for doing this, but what is behind the curtain? Ooh. Yeah, a little sneak peek for you guys. Yeah, but you can see there's like mountains and... There's like mountains and mountains of cars in the back. Yo, that's crazy though. Yo! Guys, we're gonna do some CIA. We're gonna do some CIA stuff and see what's inside. Whoa! Yeah. You can see? Yeah. Some would say it's messy. I call it dedicated effort to be actually supplying all these cars, you know. I've been working with them for the longest time. I think back in high school, I've actually been buying from Joy for my cars. But, and now I'm already turning, I've turned 24 this year. And I'm still uh, keeping in touch with them. And I owe them a lot of stuff. A lot of the videos that you guys see on my channel, most of the cars are from Joy and John. And I do work with other people as well, such as from The Hive, by Corey, you know. I think the community for the most part, other than like, you know, the backstabbing bitches, you know, if, if you know, you know, for those who are in Singapore, lah, I think for the most part, it's uh, pretty good. Lah. Personally, I just focus on the cars and don't focus on the toxicity lah, that comes with the hobby. Hey guys, check this out. So I came across more of those monster trucks and these are actually pretty 
freaking cool you know these are actually pretty dope why but i won't be buying this because i don't collect monster trucks and why don't i collect monster trucks is it because they're lame no it's just because if i'm gonna start focusing on another series it's, i'm gonna have to start taking bank loans just to supply my addiction <laughs> yeah so check that out pretty cool monster trucks from hot wheels for the other side hey shout out to my man gab if you're watching this video yo check this out bro hot bird hot bird uh. this is definitely not a pontiac firebird <laughs> But check that out it's all gold and yo race aces man check that out track tune right yeah see hey you got you guys think i'm a fantasy oh, there you go see track tune you guys think i'm a fantasy hater no 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 i know i know my fantasy cars oh my god this car if you're a long time viewer of mine uh oh wait no i'm talking about the super machines version i mean i had some uh, bad memories with that mexico convention wow and super treasures and ecto and stuff that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed, especially with the microphone and uh, everything. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop the video a like. It doesn't help me earn more money or anything, but rather it just helps me. It just shows that you guys really enjoyed uh, these vlogs. As you all understand, I don't really peg hunt anymore at Toys R Us and all those because there's really no point. I feel like it's so much better to go to hobby shops, you know? Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.